if I could just wear this every day, I would. I would. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this festival, like music festival glitter inspired makeup look. Uh, I've wanted to do this for a while, I just haven't gotten around to it until now. I hope you guys do like this video. If you do like it, make sure to subscribe before you leave and also give it a big thumbs up too. Thank you. Thank you. I did like struggle with inspiration like before I filmed this video. I was like not sure if I wanted to film a festival makeup look where I was going to go with it. I was going to keep it super simple and then I kind of I went on a bit of a tangent and just ended up with this. I don't think it's too complicated though. It's more just highlight, glowy skin, bronziness, and then just add a bit of glitter and everything. The techniques I've used in many of my different tutorials. So I hope you guys do like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys. So today I think I might do a festival makeup look. I don't know. Like I'm just... I'm lacking a bit of inspo at the moment. I had this idea of what I wanted. I'm not sure if I want to do a glam festival or an easy one. Anywho, let's go to it. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with my Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. And I'm just spritzing that all over my face. But I love this because I was watching a, Sh a Shan Xoho video. And she was saying that it like the formula of it that it constantly is like releasing the like stuff that keeps your oils at bay kind of thing. I don't know, it's just really good, it helps keep my oils at bay. And if I'm at a festival, I'm gonna be sweaty, I'm gonna be oily, I'm gonna be in the sun. I want this. Next I'm gonna do my little trick that I've done in a couple videos to help keep my long wearing base in place, which is apply a translucent powder lightly over my face. Um, in the oily areas I tend to get oily and I've applied that oil like controlling primer spray but I do want this as like an extra line of defense that really helps just stop my oil seeping through into my makeup and I'm literally just applying the lightest lightest amount to stop the oil seeping through but not to cause cakiness on my face for foundation today guys I'm going to mix my fit me matte and poreless foundation with my ex1 invisiwear foundation to help keep me matte throughout the day and also to get the right color this matte and poreless one is in creamy beige which is too light so I like to mix it with my darkest foundation which is the ex1 one <laughs> to create my perfect color so because we are at a festival when you're wearing this makeup you want to make sure that you're not caking on the foundation I like to actually just apply most of it on the back of my hand and just um, apply it to my face a bit at a time because otherwise you can end up having a really thick base and in direct sunlight it's going to look like a cake so you, I just like to really disperse it really blend it and press it into my skin to help it melt in and look as skin like as possible. For any festival look you want to look super duper bronzed and glowy but we'll get to the glowy bit in a second. So I'm going to take my cream bronzer from Benefit. It's the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. It's more of a warm tone kind of contour stick though that's why I use it for bronzing. It's the perfect like undertone. So I apply it to my cheekbones, temples and forehead, along my nose, chin and jawline, and a bit down my neck as well to kind of bronze up the body. Um, you guys can apply it where you feel works best for you. If you have like a really small forehead, then you might not want to bronze there. I mean like, it's really up to you. Always remember to blend up when you're doing your bronze on your cheeks, slash like contour just because you don't want to blend it down then it starts to lose its shape and it just turns into a bit of a muddy mess and the reason why I'm bronzing along this part of my face is because I like to have a bit of that sun-kissed look have had a healthy dose of vitamin D <laughs> and I've applied some on my decolleté as well just to bring it a little bit on the body so it's not all focused on the face it's what I find looks most natural is when you apply what you apply to your face to your body in terms of like base products rather than just having it all glam on your face and the rest of your body looking kind of plain especially because in a festival you have a lot of skin showing on your body so you want to kind of 
just bring it along the decolleté area. Okay guys, so for the body glow, I'm actually going to grab my Natasha Denona Glow Body Glow in the shade Medium. And I'm going to apply this not only on my body, like the decolleté area, but on the high points of my face. The only thing that I've noticed when using this highlighter is that you want to like blend it in straight away once you've applied it. So you don't want to just dab it on, dab it on, dab it on where you want it and then start blending in because I found that it sets very quickly and you won't be able to blend it in. So I'm just applying it. Oh, I might have applied it a little bit much. Oh well. I feel like you can never have too much glow at a festival. <laughs> so now I apply concealer last just because I don't like it creasing while I apply every other cream product. So I usually leave the concealer last. If I can wind it, there we go. So I'm just going in with my Instant Age Rewind and just applying it in the corners and under the eyes. Oh, and I'll prime my lids a bit as well. But because it's pretty close to my skin tone, I don't really need to like apply it everywhere else. I'm just trying to kind of not use too much of every single product on my skin, if that makes sense. Just because that's how you get that cakey looking mess if you have like a gazillion... <laughs> A gazillion different products in your skin so I just like I don't apply foundation under the eyes I'll leave it blank just so that it doesn't crease as easily and I just try and minimize how much concealer I'm placing on my face so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake with some translucent powder just on a brush though so I'm just going to set this under the eyes where I place that concealer to really lock it in and I'm also going to press this not to necessarily bake but press this translucent powder into my oily areas so like my forehead and chin as well and then I'll just go and lightly dust this on my lids as well and then just for brows I'm just gonna fill them in how I usually do with my Shady Slim brow pencil if I was going for a more dramatic look then I'd use my Maybelline brow powders so I'm just going in with my LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil in the shade brunette I think it is yeah and I'm just going to fill in any of the empty gaps and give it a bit of structure. And then I'm just going to take my Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Dark Brown. And that's the brows done. And then I'm just going in and dusting away any of the excess translucent powder that we use to bake our under eyes. Next I'm going to spritz my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the first of many sprays, guys. I usually spray like a few layers like as I go along just to really lock all my makeup in place. For bronzer, I'm going to take my Missalyn bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe. And I'm going to start bronzing over where we place that cream bronzer. And this is going to be like our cheek colour. I'm not going to apply any blush today, so I'm applying this to the cheeks as well. For eyes, guys, I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. I'm going to grab that Missalyn bronzer again on a nice big fluffy brush. I'm just going to whack that through my outer crease area and outer corner. And also bring it onto the bottom lash line too. Whoa, I'm looking super oompa loompa ish at the moment. Don't worry guys, the lighting will fix itself up in a sec. So next I'm going to grab my highlighter and I'm going in with my Master Chrome, Master Chrome <laughs> um, highlighter from Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. And guys, we're going to layer the highlights on today. I'm going to use a few highlighters because I want super glowy skin. I'm just applying it to the tip of my nose. Basically, over where we placed that Natasha Denona body glow highlighter before. I'm growing a little pencil brush. I'm just applying that molten gold highlighter to the top of my brow bone. Guys, you know what I just thought of is my Sugar Rush Pigment from Makeup Geek. It's such a beautiful duochrome highlighter. I'm going to apply this to my inner corners and see if I want to apply it to like the very, excuse me, <coughs> to the very high points of my cheekbones. So I'm going to just do like a little base for it first. I'm just going to apply some of my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk to my inner corners. Soften that out with my finger. And I dip my brush into that sugar rush pigment and just applying it on top. I also spritzed my brush too, so it was, it's got some of that setting spray on it, so it just helps that shadow be more 
metallic and stick better. Ooh, that is intense. I'm gonna apply some to my brow bone. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. I'm literally just going with the flow here, guys. Like, I haven't really got anything planned besides the glitter. So you guys can add steps or take away steps, whatever you feel. It's going to be pretty random, this tutorial. Ooh. So I'm just going to do like a simple cup crease. So let me just start using some concealer. And cutting the crease. So I'm just going to take shimmer shimmer on the, on the lid. Ooh, pretty. And I'm going to go and darken it out my outer corners and stuff because it's just too light. Like there's too much shimmer going on and the crease is just too light. On a petite crease brush, I'm just going to take these two rounds from my Morphe 350 palette. I'm just starting to place that into the outer crease area. So this is going to be like not too much of an intense look. So I'm still keeping it pretty simple. Um, you guys can chop and change what steps you want to use and what you don't want to use. So as you can see, I'm just stippling it onto the outer corner and then I'm blending it, whatever's left on the brush, through the outer crease. Then taking these two deeper browns from the same palette, I'm going to place this on with a pencil brush. And I'm just stippling it on like I did with those other two browns. And then I flip the brush over so there's no pigment on this side and I just use it to kind of blend it in. I'm taking those two previous brown shades, I'm just blending out the edges. Next for a bit of like glitter, I'm actually going to apply this to my brow bone, as like a glitter brow bone thing. So I'm using my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle. And I'm applying this to the brow bone right just above that um, Sugar Rush pigment. I'm also placing some of that brown underneath my eyes. So to continue with the rest of like the highlight, I'm going to go in with my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and I'm going to take a bit of that lighter shade, I believe it's Moon Gleam, and place that on the very high points on the cheekbones and nose. And also just a dollop on the cupid's bow. And then because like I said we're going to be doing intense highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and place this on the very, very, very high point of the cheekbones. For the fun bit, which is the glitter, I'm going to go in with the Sparkle Pig glitter you might have seen my recent tutorial, I'll leave it linked up here, which I did the glitter liner with, which actually, the glitter liner would be really pretty for like a festival look. Anywho, I'm going to place this on like the high points of the cheeks, maybe curve it in a C shape on the brow, you can put it in your hair if you want, on your body, I'm just going to keep it focused here, and I might even put like a couple in my inner corners. Don't know if this is eye safe guys, so just be careful. So you guys can go more intense with the glitter if you want. I'm just going to keep it kind of like that. So I actually have these chunky glitters that I might even apply in some spots too. Like just little bits here and there. More silvery, but they do have like a bit of a holographic kind of look to it too. I hope you guys can see just how pretty these glitter reflections are. Like they just reflect such beautiful colours. So I'm going to do a wing and then we can do lashes. So I'm taking my Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the shade Everlast. And I'm actually applying it with a brush. This is the Real Techniques Accent Brush. I just feel like I have more control with this than the applicator. So proud of myself that these wings turned out actually decent. Yes! Like I wish this camera would pick up the colours literally coming off my face. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, there's purples and pink, uh, not pinks, but like purples and golds and greens and like a bit of like bronzy tones. Like, I just wish it could show it. I'm just going to quickly place on some mascara and lashes and be right back, hun, for the lips. Lips. Oh, that came out a little bit squeaky. Sorry. So for lashes today, guys, I went in with my Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight Collection. I haven't worn these in such a long time. They are so beautiful. I forgot how pretty they are. So I want like my cheekbones just to pop a bit more. I'm going to go back in with that Sugar Rush pigment from Makeup Geek on a very fluffy like eyeshadow brush. And apply this just around the glitter, like on the high points of my cheekbones. Yeah, that's the stuff. 
for lips guys I'm going to go in and apply like a nude I would love just a clear gloss over this like I love the highlighter lips like so much but I just don't have a clear gloss unfortunately so I'm thinking like the pinky nude vibes guys so I'm going to place on some of pale plethora from Zoeva <laughs> I want a gloss guys, like I know glosses don't last as long as like a matte lip, but I'm feeling the gloss vibe. Oh, actually maybe I'll just use highlight over the top instead. Oh, yeah, I haven't done a matte lip in a while. That's what I'm doing. Okay guys, I'm going to do highlight over the top like Cupid's bow and bottom of my lip like I did before with my molten gold first. Then I'm going to go over with my eyeshadow like single eyeshadow in shimmer shimmer guys i think i'm gonna have to gloss it up like i love this finished lips but it's just too drying and i think a matte would probably probably sorry i'm slurring my words again i think a matte would probably be better like for a festival day look but i, I just love glossy lips i think oh, i'm tossing i'll do like a little bit of gloss in the center how about that matte on the outer gloss in the center so I'm going to take my 3D Effect lip gloss in the shade Rose Romantic from Bonjourous Paris. And here we go. I feel like this completes the look on this festival inspired glittery makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any requests down below, make sure to leave them. I do have a few in mind that you have requested that I shall be doing in the next few weeks or so. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up for me. And if you did like the video and want to see more, subscribe down below so you can keep up to date. Make sure you hit that notification button before you leave as well. Otherwise, let's exit the video. I don't know what I'm saying now. I'm rambling on. So I'll say goodbye now. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.